bred into you. It's just planted into you. I think that the drive and determination, everything that your parents teach you, everything that um, you grow up knowing and just believing in yourself. My parents, as a child, my mom was really young when she had me. She used to always say, sweetheart, you can be anything you want to be. You can be anything you want to be. And I think it's really believing in yourself from a young age and just deciding what you're going to be and going with it. In our office, our philosophy is with our clients and with everything we do, it's never about the paycheck. Um, success isn't about the paycheck. Success is about the, um, the end result. It's about helping a person. And I've taught so many real estate agents that in our profession too, that never make it about the paycheck because the minute it becomes about the paycheck, the deal's gone. You've lost every piece of what you could have done by making it about money. There are multiple things that motivate me. Um, success is one of them. Competition. I'm pretty competitive. Um, my clients, too. When it comes to getting out of bed in the morning and dealing with some of the banks we deal with, I look and go, oh, I can't do this. But knowing the end result and knowing that I'm helping someone, it's worth it. Every little piece of it's worth it. For someone who's just starting out in real estate, it's not as easy as it looks. It's not about putting a sign in the yard and getting a paycheck. It takes a lot of a lot of drive, determination. You have to treat it like a job. A lot of people think that they can do it part-time. They can, they can work another full-time job. Being a great real estate agent, it takes dedication. You're there 24-7. I still get texts at 1 o'clock in the morning from people who are stressing out who can't sleep. It's I call us a glorified counselor is basically what I say about our profession and it's true. You have to help people and you have to be there for their needs. So I think it's opening up and realizing that you're not going to be working 20 hours a week. You're not going to be working 40 hours a week. You'll probably work 60 to 70 to be successful in this business.